Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be uh, something that I just wanted to do just to show everyone. And it's not a particular set that I like to use, but it's the um, Jack Bulwark. Uh, basically the, th the um, heated gun talent that they just added. Um, by no means is this gun at all better than Incredible Endurance. I, don't, I think it would have been much better off as a level 10 talent personally to replace Assault Fortress. But... Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you some quick gameplay of this, and I hope you enjoy it, and leave a comment on what you think of the gun. Okay, so we have this guy first, and I've already met this guy um, a couple times before, so I already know that he's a camper, so I'm prepared for that. But, um, first thing that I just want to do is I'm probably going to call this the uh, thick gun from now on. Like, that's just my name for it. It's just... I don't know, I just like calling it that for some reason. So that's what I'm going to be calling it instead of heat a gun. I think it sounds better anyway. But we're going to go against a Sheng here. Get a nice base attack off. I knew that projectile was coming, so I just rolled right through that. And just kind of keep the pressure on with him. This is obviously, if you're going to go with this gun and not use incredible endurance, then just put on Bone Breaker, Persistent Bone Breaker, and Inevitability. You may as well just go all in with the, with the Assault build because that's how you maximize the gun's effects and just overall building those fractures in because as you can see it does major major damage like the gun I, i'm not gonna lie the gun does a lot of cr critical damage especially when you get those fractures built and he's gonna bring in his own jack here who's using the incredible endurance which is the better talent if you could, if you've mastered jack completely you'll you'll find a much better time using incredible endurance Get the inescapable shadow form off here. I mistimed that gun just slightly. That would have been a nice clean headshot if I wouldn't have missed. Trying to get those heavies off. I thought I could time that right, but nope. I'm still not used to having um to not having great reaction on, so <laughs> my reaction on ducking with Jack is not that good just yet. Barely escaped that shadow attack. Sheesh. I don't want to try to interrupt him here because obviously he's got the shadow fortress, so if I interrupt him, I'll run right into it. Like like there, I just ran into it. Just went for the meteor because I didn't think he'd see it coming. In my experience with Jack, that's the best way to utilize the meteor is if, if they're in range, um, just go for it. You know, a lot of times um, they won't predict the meteor coming. And when you just do it, or you can just sometimes you just gotta. It's a it's a big big gamble to use the meteor like that, but it is really really rewarding if you actually land it. So, but in my experience, just use the meteor like that. Okay, now we got a Dota 12 ruffles. Now I just want to say that I would much rather only upload Dojo 13 battles, but in my server there aren't not a lot of dojo 13s yet at least enough to run into on a continuous basis so even though he's only dojo 12 um it's not i mean it is a really large advantage for me still but you know it's not unfair you know a dojo 12 versus dojo 13 because you know i was beating dojo 13s when i was dojo 12 and 11 so i know it's not unfair but I would much rather just upload Dojo 13 battles so the fights are 100% fair and I don't get people saying, oh, you're only winning because you're using uh, maxed out characters against lower levels. So, yeah, nah, shut the fuck up. But, anyways, back to the gameplay here. I'm trying to utilize the gun the best way I can here and um, I'm still practicing with it. I haven't used it too much, but I'm trying to just use the gun when it's really hard to avoid it like I don't want to just do it randomly when it can be ducked and countered because Jack has really really slow recovery time on his gun so I just like to shoot it when either when they're getting up or when um, I don't think they're gonna react to it or at least I have enough time to react to it so but sometimes I'll just do it randomly but you know I'm trying to just utilize it the best way I can. Keep the pressure on. It's really good when you're going against a clad that doesn't have the like a rock talent. So. I don't see a lot of people using that talent anymore after the first week it came out. Look at that damage though. Oh my god. 
Yeah, fractures with the critical. Yeah, that is some mean damage. And don't get me wrong, the talent is really, really good when your jack has full or half health, but like, if you win the round, and then you go for the next round, and you know, your jack has like 10, 15% health, like, what, what are you gonna do then? You know, you don't have any incredible endurance to keep yourself going, or anything, you know, and obviously jack is so slow that he's gonna take hits, so that's when this setup here really starts to suffer, is when you beat someone with barely any health left and you can't really capitalize your you can't really capitalize on incredible endurance and you can't really bring yourself back so that's why I don't really particularly like using this gun but it is ooh, I barely missed that shadow attack it is really really damaging though that is for sure hit him with the meteor try to go for your gun there it didn't work Yeah, I'm trying to think when he's going to do his shadow form, but doesn't seem to want to do that. He just wants to keep doing heavies. Tried to go for the gun there. Too slow. That was a nice nice block by Jack. Ah, <laughs> he gets me with the... Oh, I don't know why he tried to do that. Okay. That was, that was an interesting move to do. But barely win that with Jack though, but that was a good game, man. Alrighty, up next we have the Black Gyron or Jiren, however the hell you pronounce your name, man. I'm sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure you watch my videos. I've seen a couple of your comments, so if I'm mispronouncing your name, my bad. But I always called you the Black Gyron, so I hope that's right. But anyways, try to go for the gun there. It didn't work. Going for the gun up close can be kind of risky, but... It is hard to react to when it's point blank like that. We're trying to keep the pressure on him here. Go for the heavy. Get a jump in. I hate doing jump ins like that because, you know, obviously the kicks are punishable on block, and I don't think that should be. Because it just makes it a lot easier for campers to just throw you whenever you try to be aggressive. So I really think that jump kick should not be punishable on block, but I don't know. Go for the critical gun immediately. Almost takes away 25% of their health. Okay, now I am... I have no damage because of that serpent toxin. Just go for the meteor. Take a good chunk of their health away there. Went for the second shadow attack. He avoids it. I tried to avoid that shadow attack there, but it didn't work. But I avoid the second one. But still doing little damage but still at least we're getting the fractures in that's what matters oh my god yeah okay the gun does a lot of damage a lot of damage it's so much more <laughs> it's so much more than his normal gun but that's the thing I really don't think this gun is in the right place of between this and incredible endurance personally I really really think it would have been much better if it was an assault fortress replacement. It w I would have been, I would have loved this much better if it was a level 10 talent to compete with Fortress of the Legion. I'd much rather have it do that. Then I would actually use it. But even though the fractures are nice, and he just quit playing here, by the way, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm not sure what happened, but you know, I was already in, in the huge lead, so I just wanted to get the fractures in. But yeah, I I just. I just think it's in the wrong talent selection. I don't think it should be between this and Incredible Endurance. I think it should be between this and Fortress of the Legion. That way, people will have something to choose between Fortress of the Legion or the Critical Gun, you know? Because even though I think Assault Fortress is better than Fortress of the Legion, uh, a lot of people don't use Assault Fortress, so I think it would have been much better to use, to put it there, but yeah. Alrighty, another Dojo 12 battle of a name that I cannot pronounce again. But he's gonna bring in his fire guard, and it looks like he's got the Earth on Fire talent and Shadow Burning, and that is really annoying because it's just fire guards. I pretty much every single fire guard I run into just camps and just waits to get their stupid shadow form and their uh, heating engines talent, or not heating engines, the um, the burning flamethrower talent. Yeah, that one. 
and you know just burn my shadow energy and whatnot but not all the time but most of the time that's what I run into still hit him with the critical gun right there that was nice some fractures in the corner here go for the grab go for the shadow form it's inescapable with the salt fortress there's no chance of them recovering kick into a critical and go for the gun and then just wait there and that's what I use that's what I recommend you do with the um, if you're using this heated gun talent is after the shadow attack just time your time your projectile and you know just get extra damage in that way instead of going for the heavy attack or the meteor I found having the most success using this build with doing it that way instead of going for the meteor or the heavy attack and my dumbass didn't read his talents and he had persistence on okay narrowly avoid that and also get the block there what sucks is even though I block a lot of stuff with the Shadow Fortress, I don't get my health back because I'm not using Fortress of Healing. Fortress of Healing is one of my favorite talents. Even though it may not seem like it's that much of a help to use Fortress of Healing, um, trust me, you can even ask Hammer, Hammer about this. You know, you actually block a lot more things with the Shadow Fortress than you might think. And when you add up all those hits on how much health you get back, it can be around 30% health back with Jack. And with Jack being as tanky as he is, getting 30% health back, sometimes it's actually more. Um, yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a good talent. And he surrenders too, so we'll just look for another fight. Alrighty, and we got a guy named Bring Back Nunchucks. So obviously this guy wants the nunchucks from Shadow Fight 3 back. Uh, shitty weapon, by the way. So I don't know why you'd want that in the game, but okay. But got Jack versus Kibble here. Um, my Jack really does struggle against Kibbles a lot just because of how slow he is and how spammy Kibble players are. And a lot of them are just spammy, campy, and you know, just, you know, she does insane damage. She's really fast, got amazing dash grabs, <laughs> you know, block breaks, a fast projectile. So yeah, my Jack struggles and he thought he was slick there. He thought I was going to do the meteor after the critical gun. Nah, buddy. You seem like the guy that'd be smart enough to try to avoid that. But one step ahead there and take out his kibble right there you know he was trying to be weird with that kibble I don't <laughs> fucking hate kibble players to be honest but move on to his jet and I guess jets getting a rework too so hey that's interesting um, Azuma took that personally since she's getting shadow form so hey so did Kate I guess but we'll see she might be even more OP than what she was before Got me trapped in the corner here with Shadow Harmony. Just jump over that. Get that kick off. That usually works. Get the grab in. Unavoidable shadow attack. Let's try to time the gun right here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that damage with that headshot. The base will finish off that jet. Really, really easy. Yeah, this, this jack build is a damage pump. Jesus, yeah. This is why I call it the straight up assault build because it is just very minimal defense but just pure offense, just straight up aggression. That's how you should play this jack, is just straight up aggression. Get those fractures in, you know. You can use that critical gun to, you know, get them off you. But, you know, like I said, you have very little defense and you got no shadow fortress to help you out, so that's where it sucks. And get the gun off there, just kinda keeping them back. You usually go for that impulse. That impulse is one of the most overpowered shadow attacks in the game. It is really hard to avoid that impulse. Oh, what a hit to finish off his Azuma. Good shit. Throw up the Legion flag and move on from him too. Okay, now we got a guy named The Unknown and... Um, once again, this is actually Frost, everyone. Everyone that's in the U.S. server that doesn't know this, this is Frost, okay? You know, I can immediately tell by how he plays and, you know, his, uh, his game number, which is 115. So, yeah, this is Frost. If you see the guy named The Unknown, it's Frost. It's not Rico anymore. It's Frost. Or, I mean, it's The Unknown. So, yeah, he's not unknown anymore. He's not unknown anymore. It's Frost. 
And, you know, as always, he's trying to spam and be gay with his Kibbo. Hit him with that gun. A lot of damage with that gun. Just kind of baiting him a little bit. Gets the nice roll in heavy. Roll away. Shooting with the gun again, and that takes him out. Yeah, I, I like to use the gun a lot with this build. It is it is actually quite nice to use the projectile a lot, but, you know, someone that is a really smart and skilled player will you'll have a much harder time using the gun on it, gun on them as you would with just an average player. He jumps over that, he blinds me because I don't have great reaction on, sadly. Mistimed that up attack, I was going to use Assault Fortress as soon as he did Triumph, but I missed it, but that's okay, we can get the grab off here, get the Shadow Attack, let's build up the damage on this tanky Hongju here, get that shot off, fortunately he does not fall from criticals, so that's annoying. Get the nice grab off here. Now we're actually doing some good damage to this fucking tanky Hongju. 5,800 health. Good god. This man really has the highest damage in the game. The highest, one of the highest defenses and stupid range, unpunishable attacks, and fucking blinding and a triumph that you can charge within just a couple combos. So, yeah, no, Hongju is just stupid OP. I fucking hate that guy. bringing his Marcus here, just kind of having a stare down here. That was kind of funny. I tried to go for the critical and he's just got to spam heavy attacks and camp a little bit, but my goal here now is not to win. It's just to build the fractures in. You know, he's got Legion's hero, so I can't use any shadow attacks. Try to go for the critical there. and You know, he's just, he's just one block break away from finishing me off or just doing the heavy, so... And obviously, I don't got incredible endurance. Incredible endurance would have helped me out there, but you know he got me there <laughs> with his Marcus. So we'll just go ahead and bring in Clad here. You know, just I have. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be stupid here. I don't even care. Like I'm, I'm gonna win anyway. So I'm gonna just go for random shit, see if it works. He avoids that up attack. That was nice. Bases. Oh, missed the low attack. The base was too fast. Try to jump in, duck that, get the grab off there. Let's go for the heavy. I thought I was out of range for the heavy, but I wasn't. Yeah, he just he's just gonna play super super campy now. Goes for the block break. It doesn't work, buddy. Sorry. I would just finish him off with Shadow Form here, but obviously he's got Legions here, so that's not going to work out too well for me. Right, now we're just going to laugh at him and emo with him. Remember all the fucking shit this man put me through earlier in this game's life cycle, so yeah, fuck you, Frost. For real. Alrighty, and up next, um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, what kind of name that's supposed to be, so, yeah. Um, anyways, he's gonna go with his Ironclad first, that's good. He doesn't have the, like, a rock talent. I don't, like I said, I don't see anyone really using that talent anymore. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really personally see a use for the, like, a rock talent. Unless you're going against another Ironclad that's using Adrenaline or Ling. That's about the only time like a rock is going to be useful. Same reasons why um, Hongju's talent is useful against certain characters, you know. But other than that, yeah, no, Adrenaline is much, much better. This is the recovery kick, hit him with the shadow attack. Back kick finishes him off there, and we are basically untouched. We bring in his Azuma. Using the straight up left build. Look at that base damage, though. Oof. He's 
getting caught by a lot of these guns, that's for sure. And waiting for him to do his shadow attacks, but you know, for whatever reasons, he doesn't want to do his shadow attacks. I'm not really sure why, to be honest. He had a couple of windows there to use your shadow attack. But maybe that's why he's only got 50, 100 trophies. <laughs> because, you know, he might just not be that skilled of a player. But all we have left is his fire guard to get through. If he's going to pick one. Or is he just going to drink down time? Nope, okay. He's going he's to pick his fire guard at the last second. Unless he's just not there anymore, he might not be there, I don't know. Yeah, okay, he's still there. Give him the critical gun and just go for the meteor, because I didn't think he would be smart enough to try to roll away from that. Get the second shadow attack off. Back away. Shoot him with the gun, get him away from us. That nice damage. Got the couple of kicks in there. Again, doesn't want to use the shadow form for whatever reasons. I don't know why. Ducks the gun though. Just one more chip hit, or we can get the grab off. Yeah, don't really need to avoid that. Doesn't matter. But yeah, so that's the gun for you guys. Um, I here. Okay, like I was saying. Now, don't get me wrong. The gun is a very, very solid talent, and it does a lot of damage, but I just, the way I play Jack, I just don't see it being better than Credible Endurance, but that's my opinion with how I play Jack. I just, I think it would have been much better off as a level 10 talent, personally. But, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on this talent, and, um, you know, Sorry that you had to just hear me ramble about the talent itself and not really the gameplay, but that's just kind of how I am really. I don't like just going through every single move that I'm doing. But I will do that in my next video because my next video is going to be on Marcus and how to use his block breaker and how to predict his block breaker and overall the best way to use that build. And you know, I think that'll be a nice video for a lot of people. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving.